Shalom. Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, or Baha, Racha, Kodash. All right, uh, a couple brothers from Great Millstone Northwest. I'm the brother Kassad, along with the brother. That's how they are. That's All right. And this, uh, this sit down is, uh, or more so a, a in transit, is geared towards, um, <clears throat> you know, the trials and tribulations that we face in this truth. You know, in the trials and tribulations that we go through, uh, build up our faith. All right, it um it keeps us in tune with the the spirit of the Lord, and it um it it it, it keeps us uh maintaining a, a hate for this for this uh society for this world. All right, so just to edify on that topic, go ahead. You go ahead. Uh. All right, this is um this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Or Sirach Ecclesiasticus, chapter two. Uh, what verse was it, bro? Verse one. Chapter two, verse twenty-one. Verse one. Oh, I'm sorry. Verse one. It says, uh, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation." Yep. So you gotta prepare your soul for for temptation because you know if your brother's got anything to say, you know, go ahead and chime in. Uh, when you prepare your soul for temptation. That's because you're walking a, 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 a straight line, like uh, Ezra says, you got fire on one side and water on the other. And, and certain elements and things within the road that try to tempt you to, to pull you back into, into the road, man, to be destroyed. So when you come to, to serve the Lord, it's a spiritual fight, and you have to you have to be prepared for that temptation. All right, you have to have it in your spirit that no matter what, you're gonna persevere and always overcome that temptation through the spirit of the Lord. All right, go ahead. On. Uh, verse two: Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Right. You gotta set your heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. So when, <laughs> as the fire is getting turned up, because if you're in the spirit, you can feel the fire getting turned up, man. Just the uh, the spiritual battle and, and the, the, the uh, fiery darts of the devil that he's throwing at you. All right, you gotta you gotta constantly endure that, and the only way you can do that is through the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Alshad. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, verse three: Cleave unto Him, and depart not away, that thou that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. All right. So the point the point of the point of it all the the the, uh, the end game is a. Uh, us desiring to be increased, given eternal life upon salvation. That's what we're fighting for. So you got to constantly keep that in mind and endure all the, the trials and tribulations that the Lord uh, has written for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, go from there to... Uh, is 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 6 uh, wherein ye greatly re uh, rejoice though now for a season if need if need be ye are in heaviness 
through manifest temptations. Manifold. Man, I'm sorry, uh, Salakia. Uh, you, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Right. So, being in this in in this knowledge, you're gonna go through uh, manifold temptations, which at, at at certain times that that can weigh down on your spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's a job situation or whether it's you know demons fucking with you, you know, in your mind or you know, a financial situation, a living situation, a vehicle situation. Yeah. All right. Being being in this truth, things like that are, are way down on you because it's 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 a constant flow of uh, hell that we catch. Right. You know, the Lord the Lord might have it to where it'll subside for a little bit, just to come back with a vengeance. You know, yeah. what I'm saying coming back. <laughs> Hitting ten times harder, uh, throwing throwing a storm at you, basically, you know. Yeah. Because because a lot of times, uh, um, those things will happen all at once. You know what I mean? Things will be going smooth, and then all at once, you'll get hit with the whammy where you know your car starts messing up, and your woman's tripping, and and you know you, uh, the job is looking at you all sideways, you know, and a whole bunch of a whole bunch of other stuff just all come at once, you know. Sometimes. Yep. Go on. Uh, continue. It says, um, verse 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, so the whole, the, whole, the whole point of us going through this hell is that we can, we can uh, appear before, um, we can stand before Yahweh Shai and receive glory, you know, uh, uh, beholding his glory. You know, so the, the hell we go through is a purification process. The trials and tribulations that we face is a purification process to bring us closer to the other side. Okay? Come. So from there, grab a, grab a First Thessalonians 3. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, starting at verse 4. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we uh, should suffer tribulation. Right, so it was just like, uh, just like uh, Ezra said, prepare your soul for temptation. Before you come to the Lord, you got to prepare your, prepare, your, uh, prepare your mind. You got to get your mind right. So here... Uh, Paul is saying he's saying the same thing. Look, we told you beforehand that you gotta uh, you gotta be prepared for this. If you want to read it again, bro. Yep. Uh, for verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should sh uh, should suffer tribulation. Right. So it's it's a it's, it's 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 mandatory that you suffer tribulation in this truth, because if not, you're not in the truth. All right. No man of the Lord has it easy all right every brother has their their personal battles that they have to overcome and conquer mm -hmm. all right but no no man of the lord has it easy it's not going to be no cakewalk all right and, the, and that that heat that hell is just going to continue to increase until we get delivered that's right but nevertheless the lord is with us you know the spirit of the lord is what what guides us and what uh gives us the strength to overcome, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> that was all without uh, chastising. You know, like we always bring up uh, the scripture where it says, uh, if you be without chastisement, then uh, you bastards, man. But, but we suffer chastisement because the Lord loves us, man. That's why we go through all the things that we go through in the first place, you know? That's just the Most High's way. But, hey, who can understand the, 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 the mind of the Lord? Mm -hmm. That's just the way the Most High operates with His men. That's right. That's right. All right, now, from there. Hold on. Uh, so, like, I didn't even finish the verse. Okay. It says, um, even as it come to pass, and ye know. That, right. that, was, that was the rest of the verse yeah. right there. Yeah, even as it comes to pass, and ye know. All right, because when you, when you, you know, the apostles have told us, you know, when 
brothers come in, they hey, you know, we're gonna catch hell. And then when it comes to past, it's like, oh, yep. Yeah. The scriptures is right. The apostles is right. Yeah. Right. And that's not that's not something that uh, these other Israelite groups is doing. They ain't they ain't preparing their congregation, their flock for uh, temptation and, and catching hell. You know they're being they're they're, they're pretty much rocked to rock back to sleep through comfortability. All right. If I can um, real quick uh, put in a precept, this is um. One of my favorite precepts I like to always bring up. Just it's it's a it's a heavy it's a heavy precept to, to continue to keep in your mind and it makes it a easier walk in this faith, man. Knowing that that all this all the, the, the hell is gonna come upon you. Uh this is first Corinthians chapter ten verse thirteen. Uh so I get as I grab it. First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirteen. Um there have no temptation taking you but such as common to man. But the most high is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know, so even though all this, all the, all the hell will come at you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like the brother was saying, the apostles will warn you. Uh, uh, and once it comes, you'll be like, well, there it is. The scriptures was right. You know what I'm saying? The most I always gives that 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 way out to where you can you can bear it. It's it's never a, a too heavy of a load for you to be able to lift it off your chest. You know. That's all I have, brother. Okay. Come on, come on. Um, grab a first. Uh, yeah, the Lord ain't gonna. Uh, it ain't like and, and another thing. The Lord ain't always gonna. <laughs> He don't always just shit on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate to use this term, but I mean, you really gotta count your blessings, man. The Lord, the Lord, he'll, he'll break you down. Even Esau, he tries to, he tries to use he, him trying to be like the Most High. And Esau's uh, just using his military for an example. They break you down, you know, to the lowest compound, all just to build you up as a good soldier. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the Lord. The Lord breaks you down to try your faith, but if, if you uh, remain faithful and stand fast and rooted and grounded, you know, the Lord will bless you and, he, and, and, and you know, continue to increase you spiritually, man, above all things. Yep. Yep. Right. Uh, grab 2 Corinthians 11. Uh, grab 2 Corinthians 11, <laughs> verse 22. It says, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more. And labors, and labors more abundant. Now, it, this is, this is uh, going into some of the tribulations and trials that, that the apostle Paul suffered and, and, and endured and had to go through just to preach the word man and and, and this is this, this some of these things happen to brothers you know some brothers more than others but nevertheless like brothers partake in in the same afflictions that the apostle paul um uh suffered so it should be comforting knowing that you you're striving to be a man of the lord and you're going through uh trials and tribulations that righteous men went through as well, mm -hmm. all right. So this is an example of some of the things you can expect to go through when you come into this truth. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths oft. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered sh uh, shipwreck. A night and a day have I been in the deep, in journeyings, in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by my by my own countrymen. Yeah, niggas, man, you got to deal with you. Got, just like we deal with scoffers and start with the apostles on down, just like we deal with scoffers and people bugging up against us. I'm talking about our own people, man, the ones that well. 
I say the ones that know they Israelites, man, in particular, definitely, man. Because those be the main ones that's talking stuff, man. You know, bucking up against the spirit, man. So just like the apostles had to go through that in, a, in, a, in, a, in that time, you got to go through it too. That's right. That's right. In perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils yeah, in... in perils by the heathen. Hey, look at um, Volcan Malone and Jesus is a turd and James White the Edomite and, uh, you know, all these, these, uh... So, so real. Yeah, so, so real, whatever, so, so wrong, that's so wrong. Uh, you know, these heathens that's trying to stop the word, man. They're trying to stop the word. They're trying to. They're trying to uh, have that plantation Christianity reclaim its its uh its stronghold. Mm -hmm. that, one group, that one group that called itself singing and <laughs> teaching the Bible. Oh man. Whatever yeah. the name was, well, I forgot. Come, come. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, Adam Wong or something like that. Yeah, know. yeah, something. Yeah. But you know, it was. Every everything is, is is against us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it says, "In um, perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, um, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness." False brethren is important too, cause the guys that went out with us, but they weren't, that's the, but they weren't uh, of us, you know, cause they didn't believe, and then they turn their back on on on, on your how about some y'all shot and the Akim, and they become uh, our enemies, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, even if they still out there doing the work, it's not in truth and in sincerity. Right. You know, right. it's 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 some it's some it's, it's for vain glory. It's uh. Uh, for for uh, for FRNs, yeah, yeah, corruptible riches, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So hey, all, everything that that was listed in his last couple of scriptures, the brother read in Second Corinthians 11, it, that's 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 a, a rundown of, a, of of the life of a man of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. And you know what? We welcome it, though. You know, we we welcome. We don't even uh, we don't bug out when we see crazy stuff happening, man. When when stuff starts to fall apart, only thing we do, you know, we we, we you know, hey, we, we're gonna complain. <laughs> we're gonna complain to the heavenly Father about it, you know. But at the same time, we know that we just gotta suffer through it, man. We gotta endure it and, and, and keep on going, you know, because the the show must go on. Um. Do you want me to continue going, with this going one, through all that, all that stuff, it makes you hard. You know, like the word endure means to make hard. You, you become you, 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 you become calloused uh, to all the, you know, all the bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to all the, uh, the hell you catch. It's, it's just like, it becomes like drinking water. Yep. It's like, it's as easy as, as breathing, man. Mm -hmm. um, did you want me to continue with this? Yeah. Uh, uh, read, the, read the next verse. It says, um... It says, beside those things that are without. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. All right, uh, now we're going to grab uh, Romans 8 and uh, start at 35. And this will be the last scripture and we'll, we'll wrap it up. I got, a, I got a precept as well. Okay. Romans 8 and uh, ring the precept first. Yeah. Okay, so this is um, this is Psalms. So like you, I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> uh, Psalms chapter, um, chapter 34. Psalms 34. Um, uh, starting at verse uh, 17 Alright Psalms chapter 34 verse 17 The righteous cry And the Lord heareth And delivereth them out of all their troubles mm, go ahead, um, oh, Let me continue The Lord is nigh unto them That are of a broken heart And saveth such as be Of a contrite spirit Verse 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. All right. So with keeping your faith in the, in the Most High, keeping up, keeping uh, maintaining your faith in the Most High. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the best exit route that you have for any of the um, any of the trials or the tribulations that actually come upon you, man. All right. 
as as the scriptures say, who has put their trust in the Lord and was confounded, you know? So no matter no matter what it is that you're up against, as long as you got that faith in the most high, using the most high as your shield and as your as your uh uh buck uh buckler, you know, uh you're gonna be able to uh get through it, you know, because the most high he, he's always gonna deliver you out of no matter no matter what it is, he's always gonna deliver you out of it. Alright. Uh, what do you want, Romans? Romans uh, 8 and 35. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8. And just read down to the bottom. Verse 35. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution? Yeah, so all the hell you catch, it shouldn't, it shouldn't drive you away from the Lord. It should drive you closer to the Lord. Right. Because... <clears throat> Without the Lord, there's no protect. You have no protection, man. When 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 the Lord opens the floodgates of of utter hell, all right. When the economy breaks down completely and it's and it's really uh, barbaric out here. If you don't have the, the the spirit of the Lord upon you and the Lord protecting you, is you have no protection, man. Like that's that's a scary thought in itself. Mm -hmm. So the hell you catch should have you clinging onto the Lord like a little kid uh, that want to go somewhere with their with their father, and they they they're like uh, hugging on his ankle. Mm -hmm. Like that's through the spirit. That's how you should be uh, uh, when it comes to to serving the Lord, man. You know. It says, um, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Um, as it is written, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. Yeah, so the, the, the things we go through is, is for the Lord's sake. All right? Us being unprofitable servants, us uh, <clears throat> being being uh, sons and not bastards. All right? Us being, um, you know, making our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, we're, we're the Lord's sacrifice, man. All right, so so everything we do is is for the Lord's is for is for is to benefit uh, uh, Yah by Shimei Shah. That's right. You know, it's all according to His will. Yeah. That's yep. right. It says, um, uh, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yep, we were accounted as sheep for the slaughter, man. You know, we're 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 um, we're we're a uh, few amongst. Uh, 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 the rest of the world, man, and the rest of the world is completely adverse to the Lord. That's right. All right, so we're counted as sheep to the slaughter because we don't we don't have uh, the weaponry that Esau has. Even when we come out and preach, in Esau's mind, in Esau's mind, it's uh they don't see they don't see us as having any power, man. Mm -hmm. You know, now the elites know what's up, but even still, still at that. They don't see us, uh, they see us as weak, which we are, you know, but our, our Lord, our Lord is, is in heaven, man. If you want to read that last part again. It says, um, uh, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Right. So with our Lord being in, in heaven, we're, we're, we're looked at as all, they're, they're just out there. At any given time, we can just do whatever what, whatever the hell we want to those Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. All right? Not knowing that, that when they do that, like Revelation says, that's when the Lord is going, he's going, uh, he's going to intervene, man. You know? When Esau makes his move, that's when the Lord is going to counter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Art. That's it. It says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Right. So through Yahweh Shai, who got the victory. We're going to get the victory, despite us going through all these things. Go ahead. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Right. So there's nothing that can, that can uh, separate us from... The love that Yahweh Ba Shimi Yahweh Shai has for us, man. What's that? Uh, in the scriptures say, uh, uh, 
no greater love is there than than that a man lay down his his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shah, he he accomplished that. He's done that. Mm -hmm. So if you are the elect, and the Lord already he already he already upheld his uh end of the of the deal. Mm -hmm. So so what the hell on earth? What kind of tribulation is going to be able to separate you from that, man? Right. You know? Right. Was that it on that? Yeah, that was that was it. All right. Well, hey, that was that was a lesson. <clears throat> Anybody got a, any last words? Lord willing, it was edifying, man. You know. Yeah, just remember to always just just pray. No matter how bad it looks, you know, just just always pray to y'all about shooting y'all shot, and, and maintain your faith even when it's, you know, when it looks like there's no way out, mm -hmm. you know, because that's when the Lord is gonna gonna show His might, mm -hmm. you know. That's it. Yeah, like Joe said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain my trust in Him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where we at, man. So. uh you know, until next time, we say Shalom, Mocking. Shalom. Shalom.